Hey, this is Richard over at FoxAaronHeat.com. We've got our Ecobee thermostat right now that we just, it was set for like 70 and cranked it up to 74 degrees. Um, one of the money saving things on this are energy savers. If you look at this gear icon, then you can look at it and tell it will tell you what's actually running. So that flame right there is actually the outdoor unit running. The fan right there, it means the indoor fan's running. And the the reason that's only running, we were raising it three or four degrees. Most thermostats, one or two degrees off, they're going to turn on the, the aux or the emergency heat. That's going to be your auxiliary heat. On the Ecobee, they call it the AUX, it's aux heat. So if you look at your settings, if you look at here and you click that main menu, hit seat heat, or you hit your HVAC, so there's your, you actually have a heat, cool, auto, which switches between heat and cool, and aux, which basically is emergency heat, and then off. So right now you can see though that this system is running in the heat mode, which means it automatically picks the setting it needs to. But if you look down here at the weather, which this has internet weather built into it, it's 46 degrees outside. So what it's doing is I've got this programmed in the settings. If you look at your, so right now you've only got the outdoor heat pump and the fan on, which is great. If you go to your settings here, you can actually scroll down and look at your settings and these install settings. Then you click on thresholds. And then you look at aux heat max outdoor temperature mean i've got it set for 45 and i'm probably going to bring this down to like 40. so i'm going to set that oops 38 i'm going to set that at like 40. and i'm going to hit the save button and what that's going to do is anytime the temp outdoor temperature is over 40 degrees it tells me i don't ever want to turn on the heat strips which is good because heat strips are run three to five times your normal power usage of your outdoor unit. We're not really trying to catch up super quick. You know, it's a little bit better if you run the circulate the air a little bit longer because it'll help mix it up better. But that's how you program the Ecobee. You know, these thermostats are about 240 bucks, 230 bucks or so. And they come with a remote sensor that averages. We've got a couple remotes on this one so we've got one in like our kitchen we've got one in our bedroom and then it's got this so we've got an extra one on ours now they work really good but that really saves you some money and you don't have to think about when do I turn on the emergency heat when do I turn off the emergency heat it kind of does it by yourself so uh, these automatically do it so it's great investment um, I had some customers that just said oh, I want to just keep my old school thermostat well, that'll work fine, but then I've had a couple of them that they've had normal bills like $150, $200 a month, and then they had a $600 bill, and they had that two months in a row, and they call me freaking out, saying, look, I spent $1,200, and I should have only spent like $300. So I spent $900 more, and this happened to one customer two years in a row, and then she finally broke down and bought a $230 thermostat. So we actually can remotely program it for her. And it just makes it easier. And she doesn't run into these problems. Um, so let us know if we can help you. It's Richard with FoxAirAndHeat.com. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that uh, helped you out on programming the thermostats. And call us and let us know if we can upgrade you on it. And we'll let you know. We'll take care of it. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit the notifications button, and please share this video. Thanks for watching.